Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. So in this video I'm going to be making some shelf brackets um, and this is a might add braille joint so I'm going to use primarily for the joint. So here I'm just creating a knife valley. Uh, this is just so my saw doesn't split any of the fibres um, because I do want this to be nice and crisp. Usually when I do things like this I do tend to use a pencil but as I said I do want it nice and crisp because these um, are going to be mating to the other mitre edge. Yeah, I'm just creating a little valley and this is going to accommodate me saw. So after I've sewn, um, I just clean this up with a plane just to make sure everything's nice and square. I then just mark out with a mortar gauge um, our pencil lines in because as I am blind as a bat. Then I just saw the joint. Um, I do try to be as accurate as possible with things like this because it is difficult to get in. Um, with a chisel and it is also difficult with a router plane as well. Then I just made my way down the shoulder line, um, removing material as I go. I remove the last of the material then I clean the shoulders up with a chisel. I cut the bracket of the length and then I make a start on the second section. So the second section, it's pretty much marked out the same way as the first section. Um, other than I don't actually um, cut a 45 degree um, angle to start it off. Uh, this is a male portion, so it is actually kept as a square at the edge. After trying to sew these um, at a 45 degree angle, I found it was easier just to take it down with um, a chisel like I'm doing here. Uh, then just remove um, sections like this. Um, I found it far easier than trying to sew it. I found the saw was trying to jump out the line uh, with it being on an angle. So I just carried it all the way down uh, doing this. Uh, I did have to go back the shoulder lines a couple of times. And ye old faithful, uh, the router plane uh, brought everything nice and square.
I wasn't totally happy with the initial cut so I did actually clean it up a little bit with this shoulder plane. So here I'm just cleaning up the edge, there was a little bit of a step so I'm just trying to remove it while everything's um, unglued. I actually did put an angle on both faces, um, that's 45 degrees you see is cut there. Um, I'm not too sure of this angle, it just looked nice on the eye so I marked it out and I cut it. I cleaned the edges up um, and I did put a bit of a chamfer on the inside um, edges uh, before I got everything glued up. Same again, it's just easier to do before it's glued up. This is reclaimed wood so the hole you can see was actually already there. I used my first one as a template so the two are identical. Just passing the cord scraper over it, um, getting rid of anything that I'm uh, not liking, i.e. a little bit of a step that I still had. So here I'm drilling some holes, uh, there was four holes drilled in each, um, which I kind of regret doing now. Um, I really don't like the way they look, so if you are doing it I would recommend that you use some fixings on the back perhaps. Final sanding and this was ready for some oil so I oiled this up and I put the shelf together and here we are. As always guys thank you very much for watching, much appreciated, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.